We'll go back to two. For a third for Matilda Castron. Just 81 yards, a nice solid par at the first. Hitting a three-quarter gap wedge. This has potential if it's not too long. Well, it is too long, but I thought that was really a, a good-looking stroke. Good-looking stroke. Mm, good putt. Just at the short amount of stats that she's been accumulating, she's already 12th in ball striking on the LPGA. Yeah, and Grant summed it up perfectly. Her ball striking is what gets it done for her thus far. Her short game hasn't been that good this year, but she's only played seven events, so it's not a great sampling. 78 players making the cut. The golf course is full. Very similar line. She's just as solid as can be, Judy. Yeah, I mean, she's got, you know, it's it's a golf swing that's difficult to argue with. Now a winner three weeks ago, won at the Meta Hill Championship. She's got a nine iron right here. I think that was the right club, Judy. I think so. Okay. Caddy keeps his job. So, Grant, you asked me how she's feeling. I think she's feeling way more confident than a rookie would normally feel. That win on that tough golf course meant the world. So we go down to the tee at the fifth, and this is Castron. Going with six iron. Wasted that one much higher than the previous shots. Losing a little right. Easy. Got a, a nice little measured approach to her putting there, Jerry. Ooh. She hit exactly where she was looking. It looks as cool as a cucumber under the pressure of playing in the final group. And that'll drop her back to 10 under par. And so watching it closely, it was really good contact. Yeah. That's going to tumble for a while, something we haven't seen all week. Yeah, that's in a good spot. Oh. Oh, I talk about right in the heart. Oh. One shot lead when the round began. Birdie and a bogey. It's like a whole team of Simone Biles. Yes. You know. Castron just cleaning up. Oh no. A little chance of go knolls there in the background. Shudder at uh, trying to get it off his tee, but not these players. Fairway slopes a lot from right to left, so everything could have bounced up. It's a hard fairway to miss, actually. You have seen it done. That's going to be the flattest lie over on the left side and the shortest distance home. It'll be her 52 degree. So she has to learn a little more versatility with her wedges. Hmm. Would say young Kim be the other? Yeah. She made a, a good solid par four look easy. A little breeze in. Yeah, just like Judy said, you cannot find a fault in that golf swing. So simple looking, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Same yardage, 143 to the hole. Little left. That's nicely done. Not a bad effort there. Just, I think that whole location here at nine is just, just a beast for her par, but. So far, Judy hanging in there quite nicely. One under par for a round, still tied for the lead with Jin Young Ko. She's a rookie, but she seems like such a grown up. Straight into the breeze. That's left. Bunker over there. 
There is. There's some room, but there's a bunker. Judy, one and ten both give you a nice little test to start out your nine here at Old America, don't they? It's a particularly cool device that the players are now allowed to use. Castron's shot underway. That's a six iron. That's the right number. That's pretty correct. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. That was a little tentative looking stroke, almost like she, uh, at impact, she tried recovering from a bad feeling. She almost looked like it gave the impression it was close to a double hit, believe it or not. Well, uh, she, she stood over it. At least six played first and decided on three would lay driver for Matilda. Nice little low draw at the left center. There it goes. Fair bit off this. She's done it exceptionally well so far today. There's a poise in her, Judy, isn't yeah. there? Well, that's why I was yeah. saying she. Just a little bit uphill as well. Much better looking stroke. No one can quite pull away. Golf course is playing right about its uh, par of 71 today. Still have to pay close attention here. Can't fall asleep. Nicely done. Since average places her about five steps onto the green. Yeah, I'm gonna rely on you guys for where the ball ends up. That was just a smoothie. I didn't be too much panic in that swing, and that's gone down the right side as well into the oh. into some thick rough. Ooh. Oh, no way! Wow! Wow! That was a great shot. This is just a, a short game display here of, of chipping skills. So far from Castron and Co. Yeah, she'll just gonna go ahead and hurry up and uh, tap that one in. That's a very quick, quick birdie, and I think very welcome quick birdie at that. An early call. Early call. Castron. Nine iron. But also a little thin, a little right of the hole. Yeah. To win. Get it there. That's so maddening. We've seen it all week long. A couple she's left right in the jaws today. When you're playing par threes well, like Matilda tells you, that's a good ball strike. If the players want to finish. Get in the hole! And usually, if they want to play, the first person to finish will run to the next tee and tee off before they blow the horn. Unfortunately, that's about a 350-yard run. <laughs> this was Castron's third at the 17th. Oh. How good is that? Uh, we've seen some serious short game prowess from Matilda Castro. It's a pretty easy decision. Let's see what our marshal does here, because I've got no idea where it's going. What the fuck? No quiet clap. Well, she didn't uh, watch it very long, so she was pleased. Maybe she couldn't see it very no. long. I'm not sure. That was a moment ago, and now Castron. Second. 131 yards. This is just left of the hole, it looks like. Boy, be careful then. Mm. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's going to stay on that. Just a bit. Boring can be lucrative, Judy. You know, Candid. everybody who has ever played the game will tell you if you uh, hit fairways and greens, they, they might say it's boring, but you're going to keep trying to do it. <laughs> First time she'd ever taken a lead into a round on the LPGA Tour. Now she can exhale. Really, really impressive.